This episode is brought to you by Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service. It's used to explore, discover, or deepen your relationship to fragrances. So whether you are a perfume cologne aficionado or you're just starting out, this is the service for you. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service that brings brand name perfumes to your doorstep. Best part is you get to try a 30 day sample of any perfume before committing to an expensive bottle. So you get to shop around for your signature scent. Scentbird wants to revolutionize the way people interact with fragrances. All right, we're always saying some crazy stuff on the podcast, but at least we're smelling good while we're doing it. All the scents are in here. I've got Room 1015 Atramental, Cicely Perry Le U Revi, and Adage Cyan uh, Perfume. They come in these really cool little packages. You get to try them out. The great part is there's actually a generous amount in here. I'm gonna be able to use these for a while. So they come in these really cool little containers. You open them up and that's a that's a generous amount. And I have three of them. I really like this Adage CN one. It just smells really woodsy um, and fresh. Scentbird has tons of great perfumes and colognes and unisex options. They carry great brands like Prada and Gucci as well as indie ones like Skylar and Heretic. You can smell it in the air. I'm wearing it right now. It's amazing. You guys can use promo code NEDS, that's capital NEDS, for 55% off your first month subscription with Scentbird. Now I can take my signature scent from BO and dryer sheets to Versace's Bright Crystal or Oscar de Laurentiis Halibut. I'm gonna use this Adage tonight, spray in the air, and now I'm walking into it. Check out the link below. Thanks for the sponsorship this month, Scentbird. Bro, 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 put it behind Please. a paywall and watch the money roll in. Uh -huh. You got, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. For me too, dude. Hello. The fucking messages. Hello. Show me your feet. Go away from me. Not really. okay, Go away so, from me now. So I did this one song where, or this one song where it was like, um, like, what, I wonder what people like about me. And like, oh, I was in a bikini, so I was like, boobs, right? Mm -hmm. Like, cause that was yeah. the, that was the sound. And then I did another <laughs> one, but instead of boobs, I held up my feet. It almost got the same play. Oh yeah, like oh, the yeah. same. At this point on the internet, feet are equal in uh, desire to boobs. Right. And do you guys do you guys have any any ideas on why that is? I was just about to inquire. Do we feel like when we? Sh I mean, I guess in society, once we have memes about feet pics, does it make people actually think they like yes. pics and things like I that? I think. I Which think. It, I think it, those fetishes. I, I think they were already there, but I think the memeing of it maybe then, like oh maybe I could yeah have then a spreads it and there is uh, something there is something about uh, I don't know feet that it's like kind of innocent but also kind of that now they're making it sexual and taboo so there must be some kind of thing they grab onto there I don't know who's they the the feet the feeders no the the feeders okay. is that what they call they're them they're expanding their community I've, I mean it's I've, it's a community I've, I've they try and get at me oh I've infiltrated <laughs> the feeders because I have beautiful feet totally infiltrated saying. you do Ooh. they're long yeah yeah they're and they're and they got I got a high arch yep. oh the high arch okay um, so the feet dancer feet oh, okay, okay. <laughs> the feet are very yeah. intimate though like very intimate like I could have somebody rub my back before I could have somebody rub my feet Oh, you feel like that's something kind of, oh, hey, that's mine. Like, Don't it's, it's something that doesn't get touched that often. Right. right? That's so the it's thing. Like, is it's not this touched whole often. different sensation. And, like, I don't even know what it is, to be super honest with you. They... Girls are making a lot of money. Awesome. Girls and guys, probably. Yes. Yeah. You just, you oil it right. up. And mostly, right. it's just, it's, it's wrinkly I gotta, feet. I got I to gotta <laughs> share. I got to share. Goddamn. I got to. Oh. This motherfucker. You know who you are. This motherfucker on Cameo. <laughs> this, mother <laughs> this motherfucker on Cameo got me. And I kind of knew, I was like, mm, mm. This, they like, they like kind of gave me like a little, because people on Cameo have asked me like, show me your feet. And I just won't do them. Because I'm like, nah, if I'm going to show you my feet, you're going to pay more than my fucking Cameo. My Cameo is like 30 bucks or something. Yeah. Um, but they like, they gave me like, a, I should have. No, they, <laughs> Dude, I charge hey. 150 a Cameo now. Good. <laughs> I am undervaluing Dude, myself. No, I'm Minus just saying, if you're gonna, if, like, mo <laughs> almost everything is 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 feet. So I'm just like, oh, oh. so you, no, yeah. See, so I would up it if I'm gonna. If give you're them getting the feet. exclusively feet, yeah. okay. Um, but so when people just ask for feet, I don't do it. But this person, they got me, and I uh -oh. should have known better. I should have known better. They like said something of like big fan. They gave me something else to talk about, and then, then kind of threw it away, like. 
hey, I have this like inside joke with my friend. If just at the end of the video, you like throw up your feet, like it's just this joke. And and I kind of, my I was like a little suspicious, but I was like, okay. And I even referenced it in the video. I was like, I don't know if this is what you're saying, but here. And then I think I like saw that video, like someone like shared it to me. One of these feet fetishers who gets in my DMs like, you sent that person your feet walking, and I'm like, oh, mother. Now everybody wants some fucker. dead feet. Dang. You took advantage of me. You lied to me. Gave me a little story <laughs> that I convinced myself was real, and you got me to slut out my feet, and, and I don't feel good about it. I feel a little. Guy now. I feel a little. I feel like a little vulnerable. I was like, you. At least like, I should have charged more. Honey, I should have charged honey, more. Make that money. <laughs> yeah, like it's not even awful. my cameo's cheap, man. It wasn't make, wasn't enough. You didn't my love, really, do not undervalue yourself, nor my nor, sexy feet. Yeah, nor your parts. Hmm. Dang. Nor never again, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Unless man. I agree to it, I didn't feel I didn't feel good about them tricking me into it. That that felt, felt I felt violated. Now, do you yeah. take care of your feet? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, they, no they barely exist. Yeah, I, ba I just have a lower <laughs> leg. Yeah. I barely know they exist. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, wow. I like to be barefoot often. Like I have like Love I have barefoot. like dirty like feet because I'm barefoot. Like they're like black on the bottom. I don't mm. even notice. I heard someone say you're supposed to like scrub your feet in the shower. Oh, you like cleanse you? Yeah. No, I mean they're at the bottom where all the soap ends up. Yeah, but so, like, oh, just I don't even it touch them. Ooh, no. I barely Turns into touch a crusty them. thing. I don't even touch them. Do you know them. what I mean? No. Look. <laughs> It's like a wound after a while. Like you got, you got to God. It's like self care. Do you guys know how good it feels to take care of your feet? Oh, there's, bathe, there's though. A reason I, I, that <laughs> it's like this, but no, I shower. That's what I meant. Oh, yeah, yeah, a foot spa. Bathe. It is an erogenous, oh, no. like oh, very. No, it feels amazing to get a foot rub and all those things. It, I just, don't, I'm not doing it often. Yeah. Right. I'm one of those guys I, who. I, I would recommend foot baths for you both. It makes you feel like a king. Even the pedicures are tough for me. When 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 what? like a, when a woman like you know when never the lady's one. like using the thing. You've never gotten one. No. Nope. With the lady, Devin, she's gonna grab her feet. I've never gotten a pedicure or a man. You're gonna laugh I will the take whole you for time. One. I would. Can love we to. go? Yeah, I would love to. I've never done it. I've just never done it. Oh just go my get heart. Those, okay, <laughs> only stipulation. Love to get you need to paint your toes a color, which is not gonna be a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah. Not yeah. a problem for you? No, I've done the clear. Coat, if we could do a Manny Petty and we just paint it all up. A manly Manny. Manny <laughs> right? Manny, would you do, yeah. would you do a color? No, I'm okay. more of a Yeah. Yeah, I'm more Emphatic clear. No. Yeah. But no. yo, honestly, I, wouldn't die, I would but... like that would be such an experience because truly it's like I, I can't explain the kind of relaxation no. it is and like the care. Like, I get that. No, like, it tickles. Like it's, it's gonna be rough. If, oh, especially if you haven't had your feet. Terrible. I am like, but I've learned to get through it. Yeah. I giggled the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. I mean, uh, it sounds I'm totally down. Like yeah. I've just never. Yep. The oh. pumice stone, bro. Yo, when you get it's the callus remover, it has. It's like this cheese grater thing. That thing gets so full, and you're just like, how Ooh. did I even walk before? Wait, wait, wait. But no, the calluses. Smooth, are, I like my calluses. But the smoothness I want of my <laughs> okay. I feel but, proud of my calluses. You, you They're know, helping you know, me walk around I like a hobbit. Understand. Yeah, yeah. But. If you ever just like wanted a little cleanup, I mean, like a callus forever, your foot's gonna like fall off. It's so dense and like, you know what I mean? It's like so much callus. I'll do it for fun. It sounds. It's lovely. like turns to glass. Yeah. So um, it'll be great. I need it too. Last summer with Scott Plimpton, our old studio teacher. Yeah. Um, oh, you did. The Scott had this goal. He was turning fifty. He wanted to walk fifty miles on his fiftieth birthday, and he uh, invited me. He asked if I wanted to join this challenge and Theo, and uh, I was like, yeah, that sounds fucking awesome. I was like, 50 miles is a lot, but it's just yeah. walking, it's fine. I was like, I can do that, I'm young, I'm healthy, I work out, I'm fucking, I got this. And then he called and he was like, hey, um, so you guys are gonna need to do a, a gut check uh, to make sure you really wanna do this. He, he said, cause I just did half, I just did 25 miles. He's like, and I'm dying. <laughs> um, and so uh, over a summer, we were training to walk. I 50 went once miles. with you guys. Daniel came yeah. with us for a, like a twelve-mile walk in mm -hmm. Malibu. Um, we got to mm. the longest walk we got to was thirty-one miles uh, in ten hours, and that shit was some of the most pain I've ever felt. Like the dull pain in the bottom of your feet from walking yeah. for that long. Like there was such beauty in it. Like just going on long walks and we live in California. So we're walking oh, yeah. Scenery uh, on the coast, great. like beautiful. There's like long boardwalks all the way down the coast. It was gorgeous, but 31 miles walking, my feet were destroyed. Wow. Yeah. But I was proud of those calluses, God damn it. That freaks me <laughs> out. Like people, like, like everything we hear about just, you know, 
torturous box and yeah. It, it was oh. it was it was kind of torture, and Scott. Uh, eventually, we had to like back and just off the any challenge. any even settler who had to like make it across. You know, any Bro. I mean, that's just woo. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was prime. Um. Anyways, we're here to review an episode. We're here to. <laughs> and what do you say there? Um. It's an episode called Dances. 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 And yes. enough about one of my favorite things is when Jim J. Bullock <laughs> is up there DJing. <laughs> up there DJing. Yeah, he was going in. Did you watch this episode? I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did when we made it. Oh. Um, I watched it on Look, all. you guys, I, they, they will be covered next time. That was my bad. Okay. Honestly, if your Netflix could have been working. Um, well, the thing was. What's up with that, The thing dude? was, I tried, to, I tried to get you to watch it right before we filmed. Right. On the Netflix that, was the plan. that I use on my laptop, uh -huh. which is not my own Netflix. It's kind of a fan that I know through Instagram, and it's her Netflix, and she happened to be watching at the same time. So, Allison, you were watching Gilmore Girls, and I couldn't show Lindsay this episode oh. to prep for this podcast. So you Netflix and chilled with a fan? No, no. And now you have the... No, no, oh, never. No, okay. uh, oh. no, no. I was on location on I was on location on a movie, Okay. and I don't have Netflix, and I just like... Uh, just put on my story. Anyone got an account I can use? Oh. And this kind soul. Allison. Did Allison. you get a lot Thank of them or only one? I think I got a couple. I got a couple requests. So yeah. future use guys, if you yeah. ever need a hundred thousand, you're not the 100%. only one apparently. Right. But I got I got in there, and then my computer has never logged out of it. So that's the Netflix I use on my computer. Nice. Wow. At home, I use a different fan. No, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, dances. You didn't get to see it because Allison, you were watching Golden Girls. Golden Girls. Gilmore, Gilmore Girls. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, you're uh, seventy five years old. Um. You don't gotta be 75 to watch Gilmore. Or, I mean, Golden Girls. Gold. No, that's true. That's true. I that's love true. Golden Girls. You do have to get Gilmore, yeah. Gilmore Girls. A lot of that stuff goes right over Rose head. and Blanche? Yeah. Um, yeah. Dances. We're never gonna talk about dances. No, go yeah, right. on. Go Tell on. Tell me I more about it. Back dance. to the feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What do you use to dance? Yo, feet. Oh, <laughs> oh right. Yeah, yeah. Um, this was a very memorable episode, like even in my mind. Like, not all the episodes stick in my mind. Dances was kind of always yeah. in there. Like, I have images of being there, and it was so fun to rewatch it. I'll give you the rundown of the ep, okay? Run it, run it. Here's what happened. In the crushes episode, you and I drove our crushes into the hands of each other, and now Susie and Seth are going to the dance together. Um, Cute. Turns out in this episode, Susie's a fickle-ass lover. Let me tell uh, you. She is breaking up with Seth and taking him back about 150 times throughout the episode. And I'm, right. and I'm trying to catch the timing. Right, right, right. I'm trying to catch the timing of him being out mm -hmm. for me to go dance with her. So the whole episode, Ned is pining to take that timing of when she sends Seth away and to go get his dance with Susie. And Moe's the whole time, beautifully and kindly, is trying to advocate for Ned, have a good time, dance. Like stop fantasizing yeah. about Aww. this thing that may or may not happen. Just dance, man. Uh, it's like actually a really beautiful message and it was a great tip that I wrote down which it like literally came up and it came from Moe's. You said, here's a tip. Here's a tip for oh, the guy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it was yeah. beautiful. And it was, uh, don't waste your time, uh, chase, don't waste your uh, night chasing a dream when you could be out uh, having fun with friends. Oh. And Sweet. I thought that was, that's a great tip for like life. Any, any event, anytime you're going out, anytime you're like building up an expectation and a fantasy of what could happen rather than just like, if the point is to go have a good time, which a dance is, yeah. or a night out, like just go have a good time. Don't build up yeah. the fucking thing. Um, so that was great. Uh, ultimately, Ned finds his way to that. And then even- That is Susie actually really hard though. That is really hard. That is something I struggled so hard with in my 20s is just like um, getting my mind off that one fixed thing like that's a that part I of my need, addiction behavior yeah, that's that like everything this right interaction and, to and happen or it's not oh, yes. night. nothing yeah. like nothing that's could, what could Ned get through doing. that yep yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and then cookie the whole time is hacking cyborg oh, yeah. his way into Martika's. redirecting martika's limo yeah uh and oh, and social plans models, ultimate yeah. stalker vibes don't yes. be like cookie guys yes. to, right to come to the dance yeah under the notion it's a photo shoot yeah. and he's waiting for her and Lisa wants to dance. Lisa oh yeah, Zemo she starts dancing. She's like, can I dance around you then? Dude, it's so funny and so <laughs> sad. She's like, she's like, yeah, can I just dance next to you then? While he's like waiting he's like, for uh, Martika. Sure. 
And she's like, I could dance next to you all night. Dude. It's so oh, yeah, funny. her line, she's like, um, I bet you're a really good dancer as she's doing her thing. And I'm like, yeah, you're about to see in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're so cold in it. You're it was cold. so cold in it. Was cold, it. No. Um, and I showed up in that huge you show up in tux, the tux. That ridiculous tux, yeah. There were so many great moments in this episode. So many great <laughs> tips. Um, Rachel, man, Rachel's so good as Lisa Zemo. She's yeah. so yeah, cute. She She's yeah. so like, man, she's so cute. She's so it's so sweet. Her little yeah. like looks, it's so real and good. I don't know. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's great backpack boy had oh, some yeah. nice moments with mm -hmm. his night backpack. Um the Oh whole, yeah, that the was evening that was backpack. Awesome. Yeah, the backpack. evening backpack. Kendra Barry. Kendra Barry. Like, yeah. Joined social joined TikTok recently, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw him on there. Um my favorite my favorite part of the episode is uh Jim J, Mr. Monroe, basically being a tweaked out on cocaine DJ at our middle school dance. Right. He went extra Jim J. Clearly, no, like clearly referencing his own. Like, obviously, it was still age appropriate on the show. Totally. But, but as adults, you totally. know what he's, he's kind of yep. tapping you know those, into. Yep. Yes. Yeah. He's like extra tweaky this episode, and it is fucking hilarious. <laughs> love, love to see it. Yeah. Love to see it. I yeah. think um, what is really cool is. Like, not only did those teachers give to us, but like our set like like was like a nice offering to them too, right? Like, cause it, it was this kind of like beautiful meaty thing that they could really embrace, you know? It yeah, wasn't like, like it was go. stilted or, st yeah. They were big characters with a big potential and yeah. Yeah, yeah they couldn't make it their exactly. own. Exactly. Like, and they were given free so, real estate. So rarely it do is. you get to not act like an adult. Oh yeah, while you're yeah. an adult they have free on range. TV, yeah, for right. real, they could just go. And Jim J like just really made Mr. Mon. I mean, he's, every time he's on screen, I'm laughing. I can't. Yeah. I can't. It's so sincere too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, won't that be fun? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, he has this hilarious moment. He he he's like a wolf. A real wolf is gonna come. Mm -hmm. And won't that be fun? And he's so stoked about the wolf the whole time when the wolf gets there. Uh, <laughs> he's like, What's wait, wrong with what, this wasn't there like a make? When the wolf gets there, yeah. it's a Siberian husky because the wolf got sick or something. And Jim mm -hmm. J like has this like, it, well, I guess that'll be fun. Will that be fun? <laughs> Will that be fun? Is the yeah. dog fun? Like, oh. like <laughs> um, and then from crushes. Yeah. Cookie's algorithm said a Siberian Husky was Would be his my match. best match. Yeah. So that plays into this episode. When the Siberian Husky comes, it gets jealous that, that I'm dancing with Martika. Yeah. And brilliant. And yeah. absolutely and brilliant. scares her away. And then I danced the night away with a Siberian Husky. Yes. Wait, didn't you? Oh, this comes did back you really in the, the last the episode. Dog? Was it on you? Oh, yeah. yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Dog, the dog was on me. And they put, I remember they put food, dog food on my face. So that the dog could lick. They put the camera on this side. On the side, other side, yeah. And then the dog was just licked. Oh, the... you must have hated that. I mean, it was a vibe. Oh, okay. You okay. know, I'm not one of those people that like kisses the animals in the mouth type type thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or know, food yeah. on your face. I don't know. I and feel like you hate a lot of things. I just that. don't like things. <laughs> why, why so many things, guys? But, but in the uh, last cool. episode, you did mention you might fuck a buffalo. So maybe. I mean, this was hey, Siberian right? Husky, right. Buffalo, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is, you know. Oh. We'll find out. Yeah. It was a sweet episode. It. I've heard people reference the tip that Ned gives. There's some great tips throughout the episode, but uh, the tip of if you want to get across the dance floor, dance oh, across yeah, the dance floor. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Genius. Good one. I always do that. Yeah, yep. yeah that's Same. like a great real life tip is don't just like walk across and be an asshole. Just yeah. blow your Because you're going to offend way. people if you're trying yeah. to, uh, uh, guys, you're in my way. Excuse can, me, can I get, just uh, like totally no, just... dampening the vibe. Mm -hmm. The vibe, you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, there it. was a sequence where Ned dances with a huge crew for a moment and they shoot it through a fucking fisheye lens yeah. in black and white it's and a mosh pit and it's metal music. Remember that was that, so, that, that. it was like punk. It was, I loved that. I first, it was like, so cool. It was so funny. And yeah. like, we don't see that style on, I didn't remember ever doing that on Ned's. Like yeah, a yeah. fish eye, black and white mosh pit punk rock scene. It was legit. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was, it was huge for me because I had never been to a dance, I think at that time. And that's why it like meant a lot. Oh, I'm, it's going to be like a mock dance, but it kind of felt like a dance to me. Uh, and I got to dance with this supermodel. That oh, was yeah, that beautiful. wasn't bad. Daniel, was good. that's really, I didn't know that. Yeah. Did you go to dances after that? Afterwards, yeah. Afterwards, yeah. Did you that, go to prom and stuff and like homecoming or not? I was never into prom. I went with a young lady who I had gone to middle school with. Um, I went to her like prom at Poly High School. Yeah, I remember mm. that. Yeah, so I went to her little prom. And you didn't go to prom. 
No, no. Our my problem was our the little series third. rap of of oh. Ned's Declassified. We, oh, had, we had a prom yeah. theme rap party for season three, which was we knew the show was over. It was yeah. our last time on that set. Oh, I um, remember. Yeah. And it was prom, and we were dating, so you were like, I had like a real date, right? Like that was my prom because I wasn't going to high school. Dope. Yeah, it was, it was pretty precious. That's really, really precious. precious. Yeah, I, I still remember, like of all the things I remember from Ned's, I still remember that night, that prom night, like the prom, the party was held in the gym part of the set, like the mm -hmm. big open part of the set. And the rest of the set was um, just kind of like dimly lit and quiet because no one was in there. But it was literally the last time we were going to be on it. So like I remember like walking through it by myself and like just feeling the emotion of like this? this phase is ending and like yeah. just that beautiful like sad uh, emotion. It, it was gorgeous. I still remember. Yeah, just walking through the quiet hallways. I was. Yeah. I went home with. Carly that night and Missy Meanie and we were sitting in the back of the car and and her dad was in the front like driving us and I just I mean we both just started crying and it yeah. like it hit me a little bit later it was it was really sweet yeah, yeah. realizing this nugget of time was mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. I mean that that hit yeah mm. that hit. yeah yeah even I mean, though I an think, ending even though I think we were all okay with it ending I feel like all of us were I know okay going like cool yeah, we've we done next. We've done, yeah. like, we've done it. What's next? I feel like yeah. all of us felt like that. Like yeah. when they told us high school wasn't going, that was the option at the oh, end yeah, of Ned's yeah, yeah. was yeah. to continue the series, but we had to change it because we were kind of done with high school, even though we didn't, or middle school, even though we didn't graduate on the show. Like that was over. So the next show would have had to have been high school. They would have changed the dynamic and it was pitched to Nick and they just didn't pick it up. And yeah, I remember when they told us, I think all of us were like, all right. Yeah. Like we weren't like pining for it. Mm -mm. Although now, Deep into my go. 20s, no, 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 no. I was like, why didn't we do high school? What the <laughs> fuck, man? Bro. Keep this thing going. Keep me employed. Man. Yeah, for <laughs> real. I, yeah, there, there was a lot more to it, but I think we yeah. also left it intact. Like there was no, yeah. no extra. It's so nothing. true. It's it was tight. left tight. It really is. Yeah. So weird that, I, I mean, I don't understand how sales work like this, but so weird that Netflix picked up two seasons when we only have three total like yeah. right now oh, yeah, only why? one and two are on netflix yeah paramount has all of them but it's so weird considering we only have three right it's not like right they just want something to be able to i don't know, I don't know. like i don't even says. understand how that like i don't know how is that beneficial that to either party to anyone like yeah. we only have three seasons you can just you can take it all baby mm-hmm yeah. mm-hmm Mm -hmm. um, but so fun, so fun watching back, man. So many memories. And yeah, like I said, Dances has like stuck in my head as like one of, the, I don't know, it was a different episode for us. Like we're all yeah. pretty much in the gym. Uh, they I like remember that one. Mm -hmm. uh, Gordy's big in this episode. He's chasing the weasel the whole time. Oh, yeah. Across the table. Yes. The, yeah. yeah. Oh, he knocks the like, basketball out of Seth's yes. hands. Like, yeah. <gasps> Go get oh, yeah. it, boy. Go get it, boy. Go, Go get, get it. it. Yeah. He's like full... Um, Caddyshack, like mm. at this oh, point, yeah. Bill Murray oh, chasing. Yeah. I mean, he he. For anyone who hasn't seen Caddyshack, it's a movie from back in the day. But Bill Murray plays a a, a like groundskeeper of a golf Jeez, course, baby. and he chases a fucking groundhog the whole time. And and that was Gordy's inspiration. That was mm -hmm. Darren Norris's like thing was being Bill Murray. And this episode, it's like on. And there was a punch bowl. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And Moe's is doing the great thing. She's empowered herself beyond her crush. Like, she's like, I'm coming to the dance with friends and I'm gonna have a great time and I'm gonna oh, vibe the whole time. Oh, like, you, you just vibe the whole time. That's actually how I went to dances is I went, like, so I stayed in touch with Notre Dame people and I still went to some of their dances, but I just went stag with my uh, ladies. You go, it's called going stag? Yeah. Going stag. Going stag. Going nice. stag. Gotta go stag. 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 We'll take the stag. Give me that stag. Are we all going to fit in this stag? <laughs> Hold on. What's, what's that situation? No, I was like a jag stag. I don't know. Stag, Why is it called going stag? Are stags female? No, stag's the male deer. Yeah, that's what I thought. What so the why is it called going stag? That's no. interesting. Is it called going stag? Am yeah. I making something up? No, Name no, no, no. You out no there. It's, called, it's called going stare. No, I'm not. Going that. stare? Ooh. <laughs> Stop and stare. Someone knows. Alberto usually knows what, what things mean. Alberto what knows What things everything. mean. Do you guys ever feel like, so I feel like I am definitely more masculine than feminine. Do you guys believe in that masculinity and femininity in each person? And do you ever, like, when do you feel those things? Yeah. 
I, activated. I, in yeah, you. I feel like we all have, but like masculine and feminine is is like a kind of a an energy that exists. Like it's out there in all things, and I think we all have a different balance and relationship to the masculine and feminine energy in each of us. Um, I felt like my feminine side was developed early with my sister and my mom, like whatever the arts, mm -hmm. receptivity, yeah. mm -hmm. sensitivity, like being in touch with my emotions, all these things. I feel like my feminine side was really developed and it took later in my life to, um, I don't know, get more grounded in, in good masculinity and in the strength mm -hmm. of my own masculinity and the importance of, for me as a man, I, it, it, I realized like, oh, this is important to me. There are masculine traits that are important to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, their toxic masculinity is just toxic masculinity. Yeah, there yeah. is masculinity Positive that's masculinity. important. I mean, and it matters that we as men like embody these things. Yeah. Why um, don't we yeah. talk about toxic femininity? Because that's there too, man. It is. But yeah, it's, like, it's not a much. buzzword really like that. Nope. Yeah. Nope, it's you not. Know? And it's like, I think, like, like I said, going back to like, women got to take women back for women and yeah. then lead the charge with like everybody. Like, you know what I mean? Because you can only do a man, ask a man to do so much for this women. Like, yes. not even ask to do so much, but like we have to draw the roadmap mm -hmm. and we don't have that right now, right? Like that's why there's so much confusion. Like there, we got to put the roadmap back and that's, that's relearning our own feminine. And I had the exact opposite. Like I right. felt like from an early age, I kind of like, you know, I grew up with a single mom and that there was some enmeshment there and I kind of felt like I needed to be the protector of this place and yeah. I was like the earner of this place and mm -hmm. I had to I I had to get it done. And so um yeah, that like I think a huge part of my drug probably a huge part of my trauma has just been developing that femininity and mm -hmm. my fear of it and um yeah, it's it's just been a wild ride, but so worth it. Like I said, like so many qualities that I passed off as superficial before, right? Yeah. And I, like they're just really vital to the female experience. Yeah, I mean, on the on the masculine side, like there there's certain things that you can look at and go, ah, that's superficial and that's bullshit. The way the way men tease each other. Uh, even, even the fighting, even, even the MMA, even the fighting thing. That's what I was gonna say. Because I can see the way you're talking about it, and I like, I, I yes, feel you. That's what I'm saying. There are certain things in both masculinity and femininity, femininity that you can look at from the outside and just judge as fucking superficial. But if it if it's been in our humanity for as long as these things have, there's probably more depth there than you realize, and more like gold to get. And that's what I had to realize. I judged a lot of masculine traits. Mm -hmm. I judged them like everyone fucking else because you can see where masculinity can go really wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you it's can, potent when it does go it's wrong. It's potent. You can see men who ha don't aren't in touch with their feminine in any way, and you can see the toxicity yeah. there. Like, yeah. it's a thing. I get it. But to throw all that shit out, I feel like I was doing that for a little while. Yeah, I was yeah. against anything that mm -hmm. felt like wh whatever. But there's a depth there to... There's a thing with men and like shitting on each other but in a way that's no, like positive and uplifting you to say hey i'm gonna steal you uh and yeah, harden I'm, you i'm so gonna that strengthen the environment you. doesn't harm yes you. and it, yes me for me like the the we can base it in gender like okay feminine masculine for sure but you know there are some creatures that don't even possess like either this gender or the other gender right so i try to look at femininity as almost like going with the flow of the environment yes regardless of what that environment might be and then masculinity being trying to um guard against the environment mm. and so we we have these wow, different so traits beautiful. Yeah. that yeah. arise but they're all useful it's just you can't have too much of and anything. they're useful in all of us that's why i say masculinity and femininity not male and female like yeah. non yeah. non-gender we all have both of these in us you have to get to know both of these things and i feel like because toxic femininity is not as blatant physically harmful yeah. loud as toxic masculinity it's kind of passed off more superficial like makeup this that and other like skin yeah. like it's it's wrapped up in all of this like commerce and um it's not considered harmful i mean it's considered almost bad more like it's not considered harmful in the text in it's the just like i'm a bitch is. that's just who i am that's toxic that's Fem toxic femininity yeah. anybody that you can't trust you know around your boyfriend that's toxic 
femininity. Like right. there, there, there are so many instances that are so normalized um, for that. And I, it's, it's just that women don't support women. And I think that's like the surge we're seeing again, but there's this super like, yeah, jealousy culture that I think is much more harmful then like memes make it out to obviously mm. everything a meme does it must be more it's harmful. Yeah, but, it makes it superficial. But yeah. it's it's harmful in that we have no idea really what being like women is anymore. It's almost just a construct of femininity that you're putting up. A a and I think that that I feel like that just goes for both. Like it goes for which I think is a very American thing, right? That's not that's not so much maybe worldwide. I don't know. I don't know. I really wonder. Yeah, I don't know. I can only have, like, I don't know. No, there, yeah. Like, there in the are... places you went, though, like, I mean, obviously you weren't, like, maybe you were looking at the ladies in a different kind of way, but did it feel like a different, I don't know, support or anything? Did you see groups of, like, I don't know. I don't know. How you would even yeah, judge that. Yeah, I would, yeah, it's yeah. I'm not, an, I'm not in it enough to yeah. know. I mean, I think yeah. all of us, I think looking at one, looking at just the masculine side of the spectrum is a, problem all of us need to integrate our masculine and feminine and whatever toxicity we have in either version of those like i've been i've been too in my feminine before meaning to go with the flow to the point where mm -hmm. it is toxic not that i'm abusing anyone but literally my it's life to is, it's toxic to my life yeah. i'm too yeah. open and receptive to everything mm -hmm. it's not working yeah, like it's not right. working i had to learn oh I don't need to run away from my masculinity. Like sometimes I need to stand in my shit and be decisive. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. masculinity. Like that is important to me. That's going to make me an effective human in my life. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I need to learn this. I can't, I can't run away from this. I can't judge it and throw it all out. Like, mm -hmm. no, no, there is shit in here that's different than what I've strengthened in my, my own femininity. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. No, cause mm -hmm. I always um like too, like I, and I don't want to say struggle with it, but you know, I always prided myself on being, oh, I'm a lot like my mom. I love her qualities. She has a lot of feminine qualities that um, that I think are great, you know? Um, and I liked that I could stand out, you know, against like my brother and my dad as being like, oh yeah, I can be the, the kind of go between and really, you know, smooth things out. Yeah. And that was something that I, you know, chased and appreciated for the longest. I played football and stuff like that. So when it was trying to turn it on, you know, I could mm. do all that. But um, yeah. After a while, I did have to say, OK, maybe you're suppressing some of this masculine uh, energy in this um, logical mindset. And you have to find that happy medium mm -hmm. somewhere in there. So, yeah, yeah, you have to find what your kind of balance is of it. I think we all have a different, completely different uh, formula. Like a, we each have an individual specific kind of ratio oh, and of what it needs. looks like. Like you we might be predisposition or predisposed to uh, lean towards your feminine side or lean towards right. your masculine side different strokes for different folks but right and then over to, over the time you grow up and mature i mean life will show you where you're out of balance that's mm -hmm. how it works as we grow up the Ugh. feedback like when you're a kid the feedback is sometimes pretty gentle because you're a fucking kid mm -hmm. it especially the more you get into adulthood life will show you where you're out of balance oh, yeah. because the feedback will show up that's how this life works so like yeah if you're two in one side or the other or shutting off energy to something that you need life's gonna show it up and yeah that happened yeah. for me it was like i realized oh wait something's not working i'm too deep in these feminine traits that i've learned and appreciate yeah. need to learn am i this providing other side. too much for people or am i trying to give too much like what do i need to subtract sometimes you have to subtract adding to your mm -hmm. plate isn't always just mm -hmm. the way mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. subtract yeah no, and knowing your limits and what you can handle. I mean, holy mm. moly, like, I mean, what I, like, I I have the most bleeding heart in the world. I want everybody to come in, but it's like, I'm cool if everybody stays for dinner, but like, wake up and do this again tomorrow. Like, I don't yeah. have the bandwidth nor the, <laughs> like, desire or the s skills to, like, like, support that bleeding heart decision. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And so that part of it has had to, like, it's so strange. Like, it's either polar in here or polar up here yeah and like this side kind of has to like take control a little bit sometimes yeah that's almost yeah, what some I, situations yeah. call for your more decisiveness some yeah. situations call for you to cut things out mm -hmm. some situations call for you to be more receptive mm -hmm. and open things up and yeah. imagine possibility yeah yeah nice that that's what i that's what i see so much positive in 
I mean, the movement we've gone in the last many years is kind of like getting more open to the spectrum of things and not mm -hmm. the rigid set design. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, a, a, a really strong man-man, whatever your idea is of that, the best version of that is also going to be a man who's in touch with his feminine. Mm -hmm. And same with, same with a woman. The most 100%. feminine, empowered woman has to be in touch with her masculine side too. Um, and then however that goes down the spectrum, like yeah. I do think that's good because there has been a rigid idea of it in society. Yeah. These especially, hard definitions. Yeah, yeah, these hard definitions of what boy, what girl is. I mean, nail polish is like the the simplest one that is getting more normal for men to wear nail polish. I think it is the sexiest thing in the world. No, for guys you feel like aesthetically it just looks cool. I, I don't know what it is, yeah. but it's such a turn on. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just like, you are so you. I, I don't know. Something about it is authentic to me. Hmm. Yeah. And like, who, who fucking cares? Like, it's yeah. so great yeah. that it's open up. I, I painted my nails like. Not authentic, I, just open. Like, yeah, dude, just thank open. You. Like, that's so. That's so but do you feel like that's something that someone does have to sell? Like, let me let people know I'm open by doing this? Sometimes now, the probably. Guy, dated, there's some identity shit with that. I know now. there's some I guys who are guy, getting. They're, and they're I cleaning know, up with it. I didn't know he. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get I didn't all know he painted his nails. Until he took his shoes off. Oh, you didn't. And he know. didn't oh. tell me. Ah, it's okay, just so a that's vibe. Really like... It's a vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Or like nails, anything. Feet. I find it like very. The, the first time I got my nails painted. Erotic. I don't know why. The first time I got my nails painted, I got it. Like first of all, like having someone do it felt nice. Right. And then my nails being painted. I don't know. When I saw them, I was like, oh, I get it. Like you were I don't kind know, of inspired this is kind when of you fun. looked down. I'm right. A little inspired. Like these little tentacles were yeah. like. Oh, I'm a little okay, like I was like a little inspired. They're now, colorful. It's kind of fun. I feel you know, so kind of fun. I I'm a very plain guy. Yeah, I like things plain. I don't know. <laughs> like like I'm not tatted up. I haven't done you know many of the extras. So I, I I don't know. Maybe maybe that's something that I would have to check out. Cause like you see, I don't have earrings. Like yeah, none of that. Like, I could see you playing a part. Well, you just right. like no, no no. We're like a crazy. Okay, so I'm watching the show Claws right now. If you haven't oh, seen yeah. Claws, no, no. so good. Yeah. But like this crazy gangster man has this long done acrylic totally cocaine bougie finger. out yeah, nail a for a cocaine finger exactly <laughs> okay. but what i'm saying is like the way he rocks the it, way like he when he's not doing, it no yeah. when he's not doing cocaine out of it it's just like this dope like i don't know like statement it's a statement yeah i, I, I could see that i could see that yeah i think the, freeing like i think the good side of of where we've progressed as society is freeing up just free up people's ability to whatever. express gotcha. themselves like Expression. play with this life you don't have yeah. to be stuck as what a football man who doesn't mm -hmm. like crying or yeah. fun or whatever. Like, it, I think it's good to open up like, yeah, play, like play, express yourself. Yeah. Paint and, your and nails, you feel like Daniel. painting the nails is like just one way that you can remind yourself or do you feel like it's for other people? It, I was surprised. I did it like for Burning Man, right? Like, hey, paint my nails. Like, we're But was it because you wanted people to be like, oh, that no. guy is cool. I'm no, like, it's because like I wanted to, like you wear a weird shit at Burning. Like, it's because I wanted like- To stand out. Not for no. others, for oh. myself, like yeah. for myself. I want yeah. like, give me some the color. The courage that it takes to like go and do something that you want and then go out to other people is actually a lot like, more oh, daunting than yeah. being like, it's actually a lot harder, I feel like, to do those things and feel courage like walking out and doing yeah. it as opposed to just like wanting attention from it, right? Gotcha. Like, th like, I don't know. Like, that's, that's just that's an expression. And, and you're right. I think there there are areas that people do have to grow. Because me, sometimes, I'm the type of person where I'm like, I won't even put shades on because I'm like, man, I'm not cool enough to wear shades today. <laughs> are you oh kidding? God. I'm serious. Hats sometimes. I'm like, no, I'm just not. I don't think it doesn't Dude, matter. You, you, you can be a vibe hat guy, bro. I can be a hat guy. So could then are you, you doing it for other people? Well, no, that, that's what I was going to yeah, say. Are you I might need that. I, might, other I think so. I think so. Mm, yeah. Wow. I think I'm going to wear some shades. Next next yeah, podcast, I'm going to be wearing yeah, shades. Yeah, shades that indoors. Yeah. Oh, my god. Honestly, you could be a felt hat, like, yeah, like you style are, yeah, guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can pull this shit Pumping off. Pumping me you're up, so, man. You, you got the up. attitude. Huh? Yeah. Like, you, you're so, like, bedazzled with your at, like, well, and you get so, swaggy. Well, and you're so sovereign that, and an individual. Sorry, so, right. like... That's <laughs> mid, mid, mid sentence. You're so you're so beautiful. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, Anywho, yeah. Um, Daniel, you yeah. you are so much more sparkly than you give yourself credit for. You know, and, and that is sparkly fun sometimes. Not, I don't express myself for others often, but when I like 
when I want to feel some type of way and I put on some shit that's maybe a little extra or whatever because it makes me feel good. And then, like you said, then you go out into the world and, and experience you yourself s- you stand out in there that. in it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Th- something happens. You're experiencing yeah. yourself. Yeah. You're saying, yeah. oh, I got you. Yeah. I got something you. Something happens. Yeah. Because yeah. it's almost like you stop dressing for, like, I don't get these done because I actually give a crap. Like I do, I do yeah. for me and I, like the whole process and like, it's very superficial. Like I don't usually invest in things that are superficial. It's like, right, but nails is but superficial. Like, honestly, like it just, the effort of me going forward and doing this for myself, with myself, like taking care, take paying attention. Oh, taking time. Uh, yeah, makes, that's, that's yeah, it just, I, it's, it's everything for me. I've seen this in women my whole life, the nails painted thing and how it makes um, them feel lights them up when they get them done. I saw AOC talk about on a live, like she was feeling some type of way about herself, went and got her nails done and painted like a bold color. And she was kind of expressing like, I know it's superficial, but when I look down at this shit, it makes me feel good. I went and did this. The color makes me feel some type of way. And not until I painted my nails, did I get it. And I get it. Hmm. It's a simple right? thing. It's simple, so simple, superficial thing that can, trigger something deeper. See, now me, I'm the type of guy like like haircuts. I, I like a good haircut and I know how much it makes me feel good. Like, oh yeah, that. I can go and talk to these people with a nice haircut. Hell yeah. But a haircut, you can't see on your own head when right. you're walking. Whereas the nails, you can kind of see. So I could see how this could be like, yeah, I'm that, I'm that yeah, dude. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know, you walk by the mirror after you got a fresh uh-huh. haircut and you're like, damn boy. <laughs> do that I do thing. the same. I'm like, yeah, that fade is fresh. <laughs> I love when I get my sides all like fresh and he, mm. It's nice, yeah. uh, but yeah, you can't see it unless you're in the mirror. Or, so this, or the looking. nails are a step up. Nails, you just look down and now, go, I did that and shit. What do you, oh. sorry, baby, go. No, I was just gonna say, what do you think when you see, knowing how nails make you feel, that that positive boost you get, how do you feel about other people who don't have their nails painted? Do you think anything or not really? Not even kind of because I oh, okay, okay. was that person, person for so long during my entire addiction. I had no e- mm. extra money for anything and if I did I would make sure that I held on to it cuz drugs would be more to me later right right, mm, right. and you can get by with just the bare minimum and the, and and honestly sometimes the most not I mean I just this never became a thing for me until I I put self care into my routine self care mm-hmm. self care does not look that. the same for everybody and I as as a feminine as my femininity starts to grow this I realize is is like for me is part of it Right, like taking more care of my body, taking that time to put into my hands, not just like spiral and do something like, you know, weird. Like I'm I'm meditating and I'm putting time into myself and this feels like feminine to me, you know? But oh my gosh, no, if your nails aren't painted, cool. All good, yeah. Absolutely yeah. cool. I hope your nails are healthy. I hope, I think everybody, I didn't know you could take care of your nails on your own. You moisturize these cuticles, you, you know, and, but I was also so depressed and I still go through this. And the first thing that goes out the window is your hygiene. Yeah. So mm. I absolutely understand, man. And I think like this for me is almost like, I don't know, like you did this, like you, you know what I mean? You, you had the yeah. energy to go do this. And it's a reminder that exactly. you're worth it. So I, yeah, I don't worth, judge, I don't think, worth, I don't anything. Yeah, you but, have worth. It's also nice because you go and you, you, you have to slow down to get your nails painted. Exactly. I, realized, like, I had to sit Stop the fuck everything. still. Can't text. You had when, to sit still. Yeah, <laughs> and, it, and I went, whoa, like I have to sit still until this dries, all of that. And even that, like that's a nice little process is, yeah. and then you're gonna look at it and yeah, no, I did that and I'm colorful and I'm worth it. Mm-hmm. And that moment of just like slowing down and getting them done, it's, yep. it's kind of nice. Yeah, that man. connection, they're touching your hands. All, I don't know. It's I think nice. it's more of an experience than people think. That's one of those things you know? we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. it's just like, mm-hmm. it's deeper than just the surface that you can look at it on. Like, mm-hmm. oh, this girl's so excited because she got her nails painted a pink. Like, <laughs> wow, she has gotcha. no depth. I, like, I had uh, such a stance but, against yeah. femininity. I was like, you should be able to be pretty with no makeup when you go out. And it's like, I was so ignorant. I literally didn't know how to do my makeup. Also, depression doesn't make you want to like do any of that crap. And I just, I just didn't know how to do it. I didn't have a lot of makeup. I didn't whatever. And I ragged on people who cared about their clothes, yeah. cared about their makeup, who cared yeah. about their hair. And then I was like, oh, the one time, like I, you know, some of these times when I got like dressed and ready, and it's like, oh, 
they practice this every day. Yes. Mm. You practice this routine Caring of discipline, of yourself, care, all mm. the value. Yes. Like, and in that process, you, you get to do all of these same things every day, a little bit different and a little bit. And that's how you practice. And it doesn't get dull and boring. Yeah. Cause you're because putting choice in effort, each day. Yeah. Yeah. If you nice. focus on Yeah. It. I mean, that's the thing for, I mean, anyone out there, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like you've been stuck for a while, like, Get a <laughs> get a fresh haircut, get a mani pedi, get mm. some new clothes. Like mm -hmm. even though that's seems superficial, just like refreshing your look and then looking in the mirror and seeing someone who's like cared for. Yeah. You'll be mm -hmm. reminded that you are worth being cared for. It's right? the same as your nice. uh, a room. Cleaning yeah. up a room, oh, cleaning yeah. up your room, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, like and, I mean, organize and, your mm -hmm. apartment. Someone you know your cared room. for mm -hmm. lives here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Someone who's cared for. Yes. Someone who's worth caring Self for. Self sufficiency lives here. is literally not just about like going and like it's 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 about treating yourself well like that's yeah. that's what real self-sufficiency is it's not just yeah. you know whatever whatever Man. so my tip tip yes for dances would be dance like there's no one watching <laughs> nice. Ned heads. I I do have a little story that that makes me remind of <laughs> remind me of actually is. I mean it's another Burning Man story. <laughs> yeah. I'm predictable, but my first Burning Man. Um, I like always would dance at dances. Like I I wasn't shy about it, but I never felt really comfortable. I just mm. I would do it because I'm silly, but I never felt like grounded in it. And then at my first time at Burning Man, we like, I ended up at this dance floor that was empty, but lit well. And it was playing this amazing record, uh, Waldeck, W-A-L-D-E-C-K, the first record, I think it's like nighttime stories or something. I don't know, ballroom stories, whatever. They're playing this record on this like empty dance floor. And I just went onto it and just started dancing. And I started, I actually like got it. Like, oh, like this is for me. Like the music mm. is coming in. And I'm just letting my body move. And like, it was so liberating to dance like no one was watching. I finally mm. released that anyone was watching and that it matters at all. It's like, just boogie, man. Just yeah, boogie. exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's what that made me mm -hmm. think You got a tip nice. from this conversation? Oh, man, uh, the tip is to be yourself and enjoy yourself. Be it on the dance floor, or in life in general. Just be yourself and enjoy. And also take care of yourself like no one's watching. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Take care of yourself like take no one's watching. Take care of yourself like no like one's this. watching. That's beautiful. Um, my tip from this episode. Uh, what do I want to say? I don't know, man. Um, get to know masculinity and femininity in yourself. Love the way you get. Would yeah. Describe that. Get oh, to that. know what these energies are in the universe. Like, get to know what these these powers in you represent and uh you know take account if you're judging one closed off to one closed off to another and like open up to the power in both and how you do that is you dance first honestly yeah <laughs> honestly dance dance baby dance uh Yay. see you guys next bye week. guys Peace bye out. you guys can use promo code n-e-d-s that's capital n-e-d-s for 55% off your first month subscription with Scentbird. What's up, guys? Thank you for watching this episode of Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. If you can't get enough of us, we got clips over on the Podco YouTube channel. You can check them out there. And if you really can't get enough of us, we got a ton of extra content and live streams and live Q&As on Patreon. And that helps support this podcast and, and help us keep going and make it possible. So... We love you for that. Uh, check out the links in the description and uh, thanks for tuning in.